Hi guys, this has been a while, but we're gonna do a redesign challenge once again and I kind of want to make it more a regular thing. But today we are starting with the Blackberry Passport. Someone actually advised me this one on Twitter and I was like, hmm, it's actually quite interesting because it's a thick boy. It's really thick. And I feel like it's a nice challenge to do something different with this one. I feel like that's a phone that you can really redesign in a sense where it's something different to begin with. So let's start with redesigning this phone and of course we start with drawing it out and seeing what we like of course about the current design for it and of course what I want to do a bit different. Now there are some rules that I want to follow of course and that is that the main idea has to be the same apart from of course how wide it is for instance that I don't have to follow. But it's not gonna be like oh I'm gonna add like 20 cameras or anything like that. In terms of hardware I kind of want to keep it the same so the keyboard there as well. Anyway let's start with designing this phone and see what we can get out of this one. Of course if you enjoy this kind of content don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I upload something. Anyway without any further ado let's start this redesign of the Blackberry Passport. Now straight away when I look at the Blackberry Passport, I feel like there's a reason that they gave it this kind of screen and I feel like they want to keep a larger screen and the utility of a larger screen. However, again, like I said, I don't feel like this is the best way to implement that. What is the best way is then the question. Well, for myself, I'm actually thinking about a sliding out keyboard. Why? Well, we can have it in the same kind of design where you basically have a taller display and then of course your keyboard below it. But I feel like with the Blackberry Passport, it fits better for some reason to have a slide out keyboard. Now, of course, when you have a slide out keyboard, the problem that you have with it is that you basically have a part that is, of course, thicker. And then you're, you're basically typing really close to this line. So I kind of want to find a fix for that. Maybe when it slides out, there's a way that it actually comes up slightly so that we get a thinner part at the bottom of it. So that here, right here, you don't find as much of a thick layer there so you can still comfortably type with this keyboard because that's your main way of typing and of course interacting with the phone itself. So that's something that I really want to address when it comes to a slide out keyboard. Anyway, let's start drawing and see what we can come up with. When it comes to designing concepts and drawing them out, it's often that you will find that in 3D it might actually not look as good or not work at all. This is the case for this one. While I was drawing this one, I have thought this is a nice idea. It fits with what a Blackberry Passport in my eyes should be like. However, when it comes to making this in 3D, I looked at it and I felt like this wouldn't work properly. It looked outdated and I feel like it didn't really fit with what Blackberry was doing around that time. So for myself I decided when it came to the 3D part, I was actually switching the design up. Making it different, making it a bit more standard but also something that fitted Blackberry at that time. So I feel like this design that I at the end had for the 3D model itself fitted better and looked better as well and next to it in the video you will see that it allowed me to do something funny with the background and things around it. I feel like again this wouldn't have worked with animation when it comes to the design that I was looking for before. So like I said after finding out that in 3D I felt like it didn't really work the design I had to redesign it but at this time I stayed at Illustrator making sure that the measurements are proper and realistic as well. 
something that I find important because that reflects on a realistic looking concept. If you don't use measurements, it won't look proper. For instance, I've seen concepts that when they say this is a 3mm thick concept, I'm like, okay, that's nice, but you do know that a headphone jack is 3.5mm, right? How are you gonna fit that at the bottom if it doesn't have the space for it? Anyway, I find because of this that proper measurements are really important. Anyway, after redesigning it via Illustrator, I again started with the 3D work in Fusion 360 and of course designing the whole phone around it. Of course, details like the keys and whatnot, of course, that is something that you just do on a whim. I felt like uh, for this one, I wanted to do something that looks a bit unique. It's something that BlackBerry sometimes does as well. And I did the same for, of course, the power button and of course the volume keys as well. There is, however, a difference with the BlackBerry Passport. You had to remove the back part, the top back part to actually have access to your SIM card. For myself, I decided to actually have it via just the system that we know right now and push in that hole and then the SIM slot comes out. So for this one, I decided to do that slightly different. I felt like it would destroy the design if I did it the way the BlackBerry Passport was. So, and then it comes to, of course, the 3D texturing. Now, for this, I use Keyshot. Keyshot itself is a simple program that allows you to create these things pretty well. I still have a lot to learn when it comes to lighting, though. So, that is my weakness, and I feel like that is something that I really need to focus on. Apart from that, also, the continuation of a story. This means transition, and of course, what animation follows up next. That's something that I really want to focus on, making sure that it feels fluid, that it has a story while telling the whole design of it. I mean, it's a bit weird saying that with a phone, of course, but I feel like that really matters. And I feel like that is something key about animation. It doesn't matter what it is. You want to tell a story when you create this animation. This is why, for instance, music is also really important. Anyway, texturing this one, of course, took quite a bit. Again, I had to type out every single key, then combine them to make sure that everything is set up properly and then have it on top of it. Now via Maya, you can easily UV map this, but in this case, I didn't make it via Maya. Well, I could import it. I didn't feel like that would have been much benefit as well. So I decided to have every single key separate and then just put the texture on top of it. This also allows me a little bit of freedom when it comes to the texture itself. If I want to change it, I can. And then of course you gotta make the scenes itself. Now for this one I decided to do something more. 
to do something with the background and the foreground itself where again I feel like it adds something nice. However, of course, the more you have in the scene, the longer it takes to render this. And the downside sometimes is that you do have some binding effect. That is a bit lower bitweight, I guess, if that makes sense. I'm not sure how to fix that in Keyshop, but sometimes it's really a shame when you have that. However, I feel like it's acceptable for a concept that I do. I don't feel like it's that important for a redesign of an older phone. Again though, I do feel like having something cool, adding something on the background or foreground really helps the concept to be different, to have a really nice and cool design. So for the Blackberry Passport, again, I felt like it was more the luxury kind of feel that it fitted well. This is why I also went for a leather back. And this is why I decided to do something with glass and of course a black background with some lighting effects and whatnot. Anyway, I feel like this really fitted the concept itself and of course the design. So before we show the final video, of course, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this so far. And of course, if you want to see more of this, it really helps out. Having a like on it and of course commenting on it, it really helps out with motivation, but also seeing that people enjoy this kind of work. So if you do, don't forget to leave a like and of course comment below. And if you are not subscribed, which is 99% of the people on my channel, which is well basically because a lot of traffic comes outside of YouTube. But if you aren't subscribed, of course, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to subscribe and of course hit that bell icon. Anyway, without any further ado, here is the Blackberry Passport. And again, if you want to see something else we designed, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.